Hello my friends, how are you? So I finished work and um, it was the weekend. So as you know, you just lived it, you're living life with me. So I did a bit of work on the old T54, the first version. So we've got the um, fender on now. And I've also got this side of the, that uh, fuel drum on. And it's all pre-painted underneath. So now all I need to do is tape up the tracks here, tape them up, and then underneath, you know, tape up here. And I don't need to worry about it until we paint it. So that'll be cool. So it's looking really nice. And then I've started to build the second side here. So these bloody little machine gun boxes are really tricky to build. Now you can build this with an open lid and you can show all that interior stuff and you've got two um, machine gun clips that you can, uh, magazines you can put in there but I won't put them in. Now I've got to put on the photo etch clips and then this can go on. And I've also got to put on the, you know, protection for the barrel and all that. So that's pretty cool. But it's not a box, it's in four parts, I mean five parts. So you've got the back, the two sides, the, the front and the top. And um, yeah, getting the machine gun sitting in right and putting it all together isn't that easy. But she's looking pretty good. I have to say, it's a more interesting tank than the, uh, the, the Dash 3. I'm, I'm finding this more interesting. Um, you can see the fender is a lot thinner. So with this one here, you've got a little bit, but you've got a big gap there. So the fender seems to be the same size as the um, track. And you can see the track there that goes over the wheels. And from here, it just sits at the top of them. So these, they didn't extend the track size by a huge amount, but they did extend the track size. So we'll get that on and the, the second fender here and then it'll look cool. But we're breaking that fender up. So you've got the first part, then you've got the exhaust, then you've got the last little bit you've got to put on. So I'll just build it in parts one by one at a time. We've got some Panzer Fords. Well, that's got a Panzer three drivetrain, uh, which is interesting. And um, I've got heaps of models. Look out, there's more over there. I've got them everywhere. But I've also started building a base for, this is for the 24th Panzer in Stalingrad. So I started to build a base for it. It would just be a basic um, sort of Russian road scene uh, where they're out in the, the countryside. Um, I'm just starting to lay down some dirt now. So getting the dirt base layers done, you know what I mean? So I've already sort of made the road there. So the indentations, it's just gonna be a dirt road. I'll have a wooden fence on this side and we'll have some shrubbery and all that kind of stuff. And um, the motorbike can be riding along here and the tank can be driving along here. And it'll just be a really easy, simple one to do. See, it's just a base, nothing major just made out of my plastic offcuts. I painted the bottom blue. I used paper to do that, to seal it up. Even put paper on the bottom bit here so it's nice and soft on the surfaces. It'll look cool once it's finished. But yeah, starting to get it. It's just going to be very basic. I've got, I've got a little bit of alteration in height here, but it's pretty flat as it is in Russia on the Russian step. But it'll look really nice when we get a bit of grass on it and a, you know the the real dirt colours. I'm just basing it now, so getting the variation. So what I do is yeah, I just I'm covering it in. You know, I've got the the texturizer, which is the white stuff. And then I've got uh, texturizer and resin mixed together with pigments and that goes on. And I just do different colors and layers and then you sand it back. 
So you, you let it dry and you sand it back and it, and it exposes all the different layers. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, just sort of getting it sanded back and then I'll add some more. We'll try and build up a realistic looking road. But it takes time, it takes time. All right, my dear friends. I better have something to eat and all that, and I'll speak to you again soon.